This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, January 13th, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush, and the Finis Monitor today will talk to Ryan Lochte. He was Swimming World's Male Swimmer of the Year in 2010. Ryan Lochte joins us right now in the Finis Monitor from the pool at Gainesville, Florida. Hey, Ryan, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. How are you guys doing? Good. Do you, uh, do you have the mentality right now that no one can beat you? Um, no, not really. Um, I mean, in my mindset, I always feel like I can win no matter what the race is or what event. So I always feel like I can win, but I mean, I'm always putting myself, um, kind of as the underdog, uh, just because, I mean, that's how I pretty much train myself all through my swimming career is always trying to find someone out there that's faster than me and always trying to go for that. So I'm always uh, going into practice or going into swim meets every day with like a purpose of like trying to catch someone. So I kind of always put myself as the, like one of the underdogs. But right now there is no one faster than you. So how do you play the underdog role? Well, I mean, I mean, I guess that's what people say, but like for me, for myself, um, I kind of just put it in like kind of like my mindset that I am. So it helps me out. Um, every day in practice. To Michael Phelps, to anyone specifically that you're the underdog to? Um, yeah, I mean, it goes to like Michael Phelps to like everyone. All right. Well, uh, let's clear up some stuff that we've wanted to know ever since the end of last year when you absolutely dominated in Dubai at the Short Course World Championships. Scale of 1 to 10, how rested were you? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being probably like the best rested I've ever been. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'd probably say like a, I want to say probably like a 5, 5 really? or 6. Really? Only half rested and you swam that fast? Yeah. Um, yeah, me and my coach kind of figured out that we were going to just do like a half, a half a taper and see what happens because this meet wasn't really important. So uh, we wanted to see what would happen, and then uh, we kind of just went from there. All right. Can, uh, can we peg down what you plan to do with your world championship program and looking forward to 2012? I mean, really, how many events do you think you can swim at the meet? Oh, um, well, um, I'm kind of just getting ready for it because uh, if I want to do – like what I did at the Pan Packs, I gotta um, kind of go in every day of practice and doing the exact same thing. Um, just training for all those multiple events and just get ready for world championships and hopefully I could have that kind of same program when I go to um, uh, London Olympics. Do you think you can, you know, because it's one thing to, to swim them, you know, maybe at the trial meet, but at the actual meet, do you think you can swim eight different events or more? Um, I mean, anything's possible, and I think I'm showing. I'm kind of showing uh, the rest of the world that I mean, it is possible. Um, and I mean, I've been putting the work into um, each day, every day in practice, so I know I'm capable of doing. I mean, those eight events. I mean, it's just um, if it falls in the right timeline uh, during the meet, and if I have that opportunity to. Um, do that many events, but in Olympic trials, I'm going to swim as many events as that I physically can, and then I just, I guess, just hope for the best. So the plan is to swim a lot of events at trials, and then depending on how you do, and depending on how the program, how you feel swimming all those, you'll make the decision you might take a few of those off the table for London. Yeah, that's that's probably exactly what's going to happen. Um, I mean, I'm just going to go out there and race, race tough, and whatever events I do make the team in, I mean, I'll try my best, so um, we'll just have to wait and see. We heard that when you got off the plane coming back from Dubai that you went straight to practice. Is that true? Yeah, but I got, uh, we had uh, like a 17-hour flight. I got back around... 
I want to say I landed into Gainesville at 2.30, and I went straight to practice at 3. Um, had like an 8,000-meter pra 8, practice from 3 to 5, and then, I mean, I just finished up the Christmas training here that the college team had, and, and uh, just went from there. Are you taking any days off? Ryan, are you taking any days yeah, off from training? Yeah, um, over Christmas break, I took uh, four days off. So, yeah, over Christmas break, I took four days off. So that was kind of like my long break, I guess you want to say. But, I mean, from here on in, uh, it's just going to be a grind. Um, I'm just going to go day in, day out, practicing every day, um, just trying to make myself better and get ready for uh, 2012. And when you say every day, do you mean like seven days a week or off Sundays? On Sundays is, um, well, Sundays everyone has off, but um, I don't. I go, that's when I go to um, my weightlifting stuff, like my strongman competition stuff. So it's, I guess it's not really workout, even though it is, but I think it's fun just because it's something different. Is this, and it will help me, so. Is this about, like, maintaining a mental edge? Because you could make the argument that physiologically it's not great to, to work yourself every day, but is this about building mental confidence? Oh yeah, I mean, after my performance uh, from Pan Pax and like Dubai, um, everyone started saying how like I'm the best swimmer in the world. But I mean, as far as I'm concer concerned, like that was all last year. This is a new year, so um, I'm right back down at the bottom. That's how I feel like, and I gotta. Uh, basically climb my way up to the top again so that's why I'm uh, putting in all this extra yardage uh, we're doing we're still doing Christmas training kind of right now for like all the post grads so it's it's getting really hard um, we're all kind of tired right now but um yeah I mean it's it's definitely it's fun we have a good group here and I mean they're all pushing me uh, day in day out so it's definitely good well this weekend you've got the Austin Grand Prix it'll be the first time since last summer that you swam against Michael Phelps. You excited for that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how much uh, competition I'm going to be at this Austin Grand Prix meet, but <laughs> I'm pretty um, pretty much dead right now. Um, Coach Troy has definitely been um, kicking our butt in practice every day. Uh, we don't really get a day off here, so um, it's definitely good. It's right in the right time of the season where we want to be really tired, and, and um, I definitely feel like uh, you're going to see those tired uh, swims um, come out uh, this, uh, this coming weekend. Uh, you mentioned earlier that we in the media, we did make a lot of you being the best swimmer in the world you know, now after what you did in 2010. I'm curious. Have you ever had that conversation with Michael Phelps? Did he say, you know, they're right, or hey, you better watch out. I'm I'm about to turn it up. Um, no, we, uh, I, we, yeah, we've never talked like that. Uh, me and um, me and Michael, like, it's kind of like, if I do a good job in a race, like he'll come over and congratulate me, or if he does a good job, I'll go over there and congratulate him. Other than that, I mean, it's he kind of does his own thing, says what he wants to say to himself, and I kind of do the same. So we've got a new training uh, partner uh, there in uh, Peter um, Vanderkay. How's that going? Yeah, that that kind of stuff never happened. How's it going with training with Peter? Man, um, that that uh, Peter Vanderkay does not get tired. Um, <laughs> he just doesn't get tired. I guess it's all that training he's done for the mile and everything. But man, um, me and him. We've had some good, um, I guess you want to say, battles in practice lately. And yeah, I mean, I love it. Um, it's definitely going to help me out, and I'm going to help him out because I'm pushing him every day. So it's definitely, we're definitely going to have a good, um, good squad coming up in the next couple years. Well, Ryan, if 2011 is anything like 2010, it's going to be really fun to watch. Congrats on the amazing year, and we look forward to the next couple. All right, thank you. All right, that's Ryan Lochte joining us from the pool at Gainesville, Florida.
That is it for today's show. I'm Peter Bush reminding you to keep your head down at the finish.